we have some minutes, Greg, here? Yes. It's amazing about the offset, usage offset. Huh? Yeah. That's, that's pretty good. Yeah. Some of them are wicked good. Some of them suck, but... Um, <clears throat> for the sake of making my, in my installation look worth looking at, and balanced. I wanted one more panel and fought with them completely and, and they no. said no. You can't help but look at my roof and say, how come there's another panel right there? I'll make sure to do that next time I drive by. Not to mention the fact that they were pretty poor installers. Okay, I have a couple of comments about here. Go ahead. And not that they need to necessarily be changed, but this request um, from the PV, PVPC, um, Chris Martin actually got a copy of that. Okay. But so, but, but do we can keep the minutes the way they are. Right. right. We still yeah. reviewed it. Right. We did. The other thing is this, the 403 Baxler Street. I'm not sure it was really. They, I'm not sure the variance was for two family. The, it might have been two family, but it was also for so they could have a mobile home there, and they can no longer have a mobile home nor be a two family. Mm -hmm. So we we might want to add no mobile home to that. Mobile home. I think there's only what one of those in town now. Excuse me. How many? I think there's only one in town now, right? They they had a variance, so right. they they could have a mobile home, on, and they can no longer do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. That variance went because. But they besides that property, I think there's only one other one in town. I don't know that. Yeah. I don't even know where we were. I don't we know. Morgan Street. Oh yes, yes, yes. You yes, love yes. the one Morgan where yes. it crosses. I should say. Yes, yes, right yes. Right on that corner. Okay. But we might want to add that. <coughs> that they do you want me to add that? I think so. Is that's this inaccurate? It's it's accurate, but I want to make it more accurate. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I can't wait till he's doing the minutes. <laughs> hey, will, they look good I will to me. Add that. I will add that. Um, <laughs> the only thing I take it for what it is, um, I wasn't here. Right, but you were here for yes, yeah, later on. Yeah, that's why I didn't delete yeah. you. Ooh, thank you. Okay, you're here in spirit. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brother. Uh, um, so with the amendment of, um, there used to be a mobile home. Wait, let me just say, it's no longer a two-family or accessible for mobile home. Or can be used for mobile home. It's both. Okay. The, the permit, the special permit was for both. So I will change it and bring it to the next meeting. Okay. So we'll... We'll table it. We'll table these. We could do mine though. Oh, so you said to show up. I deleted you on this one. Because <laughs> you left. Short and sweet. Yes, it is. I make a motion we approve the minutes of the executive session. I second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. You're good to go. That helped you out, Greg. Well, I like it when people help me out. But now, Michelle, do you have things here you want to present to us? Is that okay? Were you planning on doing that? Um, if you want. Why not? Yeah. Where would you like this? Um. Now you get the file. <laughs> I just want to get me. <laughs> Mobile home. He wants to write it on your copy. I got it on my copy. I'll go home and update it. And uh, in a perfect world, I'd, I'd email Michelle, but I'm not that perfect. You know, you think I am. Yeah. Go ahead, touch that one. That's all it needs to say, and I approve it. <laughs> we can vote on it. You got that? Straight from the chair. Right, I'm going to type it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't need to do that for my sake. <laughs> I, for the minutes I do, I'm going to expect the same from the next court. <laughs> Suck, I left my coffee cup there. Go ahead. I'm sorry. We're ready for you. Those look like renewals. <laughs> These are exemptions for real estate. Right. They are separated and you, well, you, want me to, is, are you Are you indicating to, you to start them? <laughs> so you can start them. So you can. those are the numbers. I just added I one. Look at that. Another person opened it. I didn't fill it all in, but it's 
not a new one. It's a this recurring. Is, okay. And not no. all of them have stickers on them, so please okay. just check Sign them. Sign where needed. Yes. Upon penalty of death. Right? Wait a minute. 34 motor vehicles? Are you kidding me? you got to be making that up. No, well, there's more, but they're pending. I told you there'd be a lot of motor vehicles. I'm surprised that uh, those are changing over that much. I didn't think there was that much inventory out there. But apparently there is. You date the lower half, I'll date the top half. Done. I wish I knew how to write you like you did. I know you can't even you, you can't even uh, reproduce that one. That's how good it is, huh? <laughs> it's just drawing a straight order. line. Nope. I like to make sure you get them back in the same order. That we Where'd received. you learn that? So at least um, the doctor's office. I'm not <laughs> to blame for it. No, no worries. Thanks for asking, though. Yep. Now these on the other hand are in order. Are we destroying them? They're in the destroy box. <laughs> nope. No. Bill asked me to put them in street order, so I did. There you go. I think my pen's dying. Looks like I can't sign the rest of it. <laughs> but if I could use that, I would have done that a long time ago. <laughs> you have another one right there. I'm the best one in town. That's what I was looking for. I have all the pens in my truck. I couldn't. I carry massive amounts with me. And I never can find them when I want to write them. So that one's the hardship, the quota that you just signed. Is that a What's new one? What's the last name? Oh, never mind. Don't say it. <laughs> we'll just keep reading. This is different. We got talk. That we don't talk about this in public meeting. Right. That's why I just said. Okay. That goes in executive session. Speaking of which, remind years? me about the last one we signed when we get to that point. This one. Yeah, the last one we approved. Just I'll forget. That's so just remind me. Um, <laughs> seniors. Yeah. How many do we have? Three. Three. is college life, Greg. Greg's still in college. <laughs> oh, I actually haven't been there. I've been home taking care of. Oh, that's Mrs. right. So the last I show. heard... It's all falling apart because you're not there. Um, well, I know it's falling apart. Because um, they had a flood shortly uh -oh, after another I left. One? And uh, <clears throat> my bosses had to go out and deal with it. So that was kind of funny. Total loss. N not this weekend, but the previous weekend when the, when the women played at home in the NCAA tournament, that gym was full. Yeah. Is is that the uh, same pipe that burst? Is that what you're referring to? Uh, no, it's a different one. Oh. Kind of a I don't you know. Guys. I don't know. The, the, the one that I had to deal with was up in the science center. Brand new science center. Yeah, it's pipe let go, a fitting let go on the third floor. No. We caught it before it rot, reached the first floor, but... Not the second? Those people are pretty particular about... Uh, what color car do you have? Oh, caviar. <laughs> that can be re in the recycle button. Thank you. Thank you very much. Are you entering these certificate numbers after? Obviously, because then you print them after we sign them. Mm -hmm. Never mind. Forget I said that. <laughs> We're on to motor vehicle.
Look at you, you've been busy. I have. Working, working, working. Meeting the public. She's been very busy. And she's been learning, learning, learning on that computer. That's good. I have been. Look at her smile. <laughs> I, I knew that smile was going to come. Since we don't have much to chat about while we're sending these things, uh, a little you have a story for us. A little explanation on the flood in the science center. If it damages anyone's experiment, your help, inclu including the professors, then they're completely exempt from ever having to complete that experiment, virtually forever. So people were paying you as you were walking in to fix it. Make uh, sure this one's gone. Reminiscent of a you don't time. have to tell us on camera. It's fine. <laughs> Reminiscent of a time a professor had an experiment that was lasting over twelve years, and it got damaged. Wow. Uh, it didn't get damaged a lot, but it didn't need to get damaged a lot. Just enough. Just enough for him to say, "Okay, I'm done." Nice. Yeah. Wow. That'll leave a mark. Mm. In fact, I have a friend of mine that actually watches this. This here? Yeah. So uh, that's why you say the stuff you say? He knows who I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Greg, I should just go for all the board of assessment meetings and just pick out all, yeah. all your stories and put them all in one thing. That's right. <laughs> I've got more. You have that much time? That's while he's watching basketball games. That'll be our summer project, Dakota. Yeah. <laughs> the next four? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> My email got hacked this afternoon. So oh. if you guys get a so that all expenses paid vacation you told me you were going on isn't really a thing? No. That's not what it said, but <laughs> nice try. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you wanted. Something about Amazon. Yeah, right. You got it. Yeah, I responded. <laughs> you did. You see, Dakota? How much well, they want you to send. He wanted you to get stuff from off of Amazon for all the stuff you, you could. You could. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Maybe I just read it too fast. And then you should have another email after that, a couple hours after that. Hello? Are you getting my first email? T telling you uh, that I apologize for the inconvenience and I don't know how it happened, but I was hacked and don't to ignore it. Okay, bless you. Good thing. My son I was all excited sent that one out for me. I couldn't figure that one out. Can't believe how many cars are transpiring. So the price is so high right now. Good friend of mine just um, went to go look at a new truck and uh, trade his in, whatever. And uh, they were going to give him like eighteen thousand more than he paid for it back in sixteen, with eighty thousand miles on it. Really. And he only had to wait a year for a new truck. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. So along those lines, uh, my son has like a 2015 or 16 Chevy Silverado with almost 60,000 miles on it. And the transmission went on. Recently? Yes. And you know, they don't keep transmissions in stock. Go figure. Hopefully it wasn't when he was driving down the road. It was when he was in Forest Park. Yeah, it's a little scary. And so he's, uh, he borrowed our vehicle and they 
sent, brought it in, and he said, yeah, the transmission's uh, toast, and they have to wait to find one that's out there somewhere. My engine blew in my car. They had it for 140 days because they couldn't get the parts. You like your car? Mm. It's a car. <clears throat> Does the job, right? Yeah. Is that a Subaru? Mm -mm. What is it? <clears throat> now you might assume that you've signed every one of these. I'm watching. That's what that's what you have to do. Somehow or another, we just get to flying. This is great. Bill of sale. I'm the sailor, you're the buyer. <laughs> <laughs> We are flying. Address, but it said it's the garage in South Hadley, and I don't know why we're. <laughs> but he moved. He'll be happy to get that one back. It's all I've been here since February. <laughs> <clears throat> I think we had to send it back to sign it. That's what they never came and signed or something. Oh, uh, yeah, there's one in here that I made a note on. We're signing it tomorrow. So, whatever work you have to do with the DMV is work going smoothly as far as this con is concerned? Yes? No? Um, the only thing I did for these is just check to see if the registrations are current. I am going to be signing up to be able to change things, like the garaging, as right. Dakota mentioned. Did we just sign down here on this one? Is that different? Oh, if there's no lines yeah. on. Okay. Just the format's different. What do you think, Alex? You're saying away. <clears throat> saying away your life or other people's lives. I'm not sure which one. Approving. Oh. Approving life upon the assessor's office. This is how we get a whole lot of excise tax. <laughs> Actually, these are and most people don't know where excise tax comes from. Nope. I certainly couldn't tell you where it goes to. Where does it come from? Where does it go? Right. We are at war and in commitment. Yep. Okay. Those are both warrants. No commitments, sorry. Commitments. Both of them. Uh, for real estate tax and the amount of... $739,147.27. Okay. 
good. It's already signed. We did good. <clears throat> already signed. Yeah, we, you did the first part last, and yeah. then I forgot to do this. It's fine. That's a lot of money. You know that, yeah, leave it on the table. Come on now. And that's just for excise tax? Yes. Yeah. It's three quarters of a million dollars. Mark DeRosa should send us a thank you card. <laughs> um, 2021 motor vehicle excise number six in the amount of $4,249.50. Chump change. This isn't even worth my signature. It's going to watch. She needs it. You're going to do it. Right. That is on the buyer's list. This is no, wait, one, whole thing. one or two of bottles worth. There's just one. This is one whole thing here. Yeah. Now, I, I know this, um, you can sign it with the chair. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it only needs one, but can Michelle sign that? No. We need to, okay. Yeah. It says assessor signature. I know what it says, but it doesn't, I mean, that was a question that. Can I have that um, <clears throat> last piece of paperwork back? So we can copy the amount again. Hearing, I'm not sure what he's doing. 49 Alder Street? Yes. It's right by the bridge. I wonder if that you is. can't drive through there. Well, who's stop? Who's it's checking to see if you're local? Uh, right. I, uh, you were all local. I thought it was kind of curious that that road sign is still there. Both ends. Ooh, makes sense. I haven't been that way in a long time. Well, yeah. it must be. It's probably for that deterioration of the building or something. The sinkhole. Yeah. yeah. I haven't been there. Say again? There was a sinkhole. Yeah. Okay. I couldn't take that long to repair What is this? Are we destroying those? No. No, okay. these, those are all in there. Building permits. Yeah. I think I've done all the building permits, um, except for the new homes. I haven't done the new homes, and Michelle and I are working on that, getting those cards ready so I can go do them. But in terms of the regular permits, I think I, I, last week I went out and did them all. There weren't as many as I thought there would be, so I was a little nervous that I got them all, but we, we don't see any of this in here. So does that mean and that so they, we, they can be, are, they can be going entered? to be entered? Going to be or already are? Yeah, they can be. The, the, Michelle got that certified this earlier this week. Okay. Oh, last week, I mean. So she she can now start entering that stuff. That should be an excellent adventure. I agree. <laughs> Good. You only be new at it once. Mm. It's just like motor vehicle. Great. How many new constructions? A lot of them. Look at it. <clears throat> There's got to be 15 of them. That's your fault. This week. <laughs> right. Revisit this in a month, it'll be someone else's. Yeah. But I gotta get out to do those. To, so we can get them into the system. Yeah. Well I'll go out there too. We'll drag his butt out there. I mean We're in a low it's inventory. It's amazing that they didn't even inventory. slow down for the month of January. We're in low inventory because you won't sell your own. Right. It's because you keep buying them up. <laughs> Did you see the uh, news article on 60 Minutes last night? No. It was <clears throat> half of a story of the housing shortage that exists in America. It's like, we're short by like 4 million homes, for God's sakes. Tell your friends. Yeah. I'm happy I bought the house when I'm good. <laughs> right. Yeah. 
Granby Historical Association. Did Terry Johnson drop stuff off for you? So she dropped off a letter, and they were. It stated that they're two thirty-seven, but as I was looking at it and going <coughs> through it, it doesn't look like it should be two thirty-seven, and the so, documents are attached. I think it should be two thirty-nine. Don Demers issued them a letter of mailing address or, or street address. Assigned them. Assigned them yeah. back in 2011 or something, 2013. Yeah. And they just redid their um, insurance. Insurance, And then when they went out to look at the property, they were looking at the church. The church, you have the... They call it something, pardon, I don't know what exactly it's called, but parish hall. the parish hall, and then the town house or town hall, whatever they call it, the museum. They went to the other building because that's the address that they were given or whatever, and so they're, they're just trying to get clarification because I guess they're going to redo the exterior of that building and they want to put the number on the building. They have a placard outside that says 237 on it now, but 239... Yeah. I'd have to look at the numbers to be exact because 225 was the other building. The church is 235. 235, that's what it was. 235, 237. 237. So, but we don't know if the building in between has a street a address or it just jumps. And the electric company goes by the pole number, not a street address, which I thought it was kind of bizarre, but. <clears throat> So what does this uh, electric company have for an address? None. It's a poll number. So but I don't know how is they... There I don't know what their mailing address is. I asked her that and she <laughs> said it goes by a poll number. But I don't, think they get, I don't think they get mail there. I think they just want to know so they put the right. uh, number on the building. So they have a placard on the... Uh, it sits outside but it doesn't look like it's a, an original, obviously. Oh, it's been there for a while. It says 237 on it. So why are we not happy with 237? I guess they've been giving 239 and 237 at one point. They just want to know what one is what. Because the property card says what? 239? What does the property card say? 239. And so we classified as 239, and they the letter from Don Demers was 237. Okay, well, does 239 have the right building on it? It looks like it does. It's the house, the parish, the, parish, the yeah. living residence. It's not a residence. That's, no, that's the, it's a museum the, now. That's a museum. Uh, right. My um, thought BAS. was, uh, my thought at one time that all three buildings were owned by the church would be a good assumption. Right. And when they gave that over, or however they transferred that property originally, years down the line, I guess you said back when they took over, or when they trans, when they. And that may be a little off, but I want to say when they transferred it out, they didn't have street addresses at that point. Then they issued them. She just wants so to it's clear possible that Don Demers gave them a number in error. Or, but realistically, if it's two, uh, 325, 327, or 333, I'm getting all these numbers. 237, are, they're all 239. Merging. Yeah. If it, 30, 25 or 35, 37, 39, if that middle building doesn't have an address, okay. then it could be seven. Right. We can't change numbers. That's the that's building, building inspector. Yeah. yeah. I guess she was just wondering what it was, and I so that's why she brought it to us. I think she needs to go to the building inspector. Yep. We can't change. We don't change numbers. We don't assign numbers. But I can't imagine we made up a number of 239. Well, yeah, and like I said, I don't know how long we've been using that in our system either. I'm saying that there's no reason, I don't, I don't have a reason to think that that's incorrect right now. Yeah. Apparently the building department and the assessor's office run two different pages at one time. 237 is the church. Oh, the church is 237, so this, this has to be 239. What is 235? Well, that would be closer this way. It may not be a 235. That's a lower number.
Is there a 235? Oh. Okay, so there is no 235. Uh, I, I assume it's just human error or yep. confusion. Yeah. Hey, it, it, it <coughs> obviously can't be 237. It's <coughs> just 237. Don made a mistake. Yeah, he could have hit a 779. Yeah. If the church is real, maybe the church hasn't changed its number in no, right, decades. No. Right. So I think so we have the correct one of 239. And yep. I think this error. This, I think so. This is a mistake. So I don't know how that helps Terry, what, what she's really looking for. I would tell her to call Greg Briggs or go see him. And talk Joe, to good him. luck. It, I think the correct address really is to. You won't, you won't, you won't make friends. Terry will do that, but that's fine. Does that, does that help you with her? Yeah. <coughs> yep. We're getting vests. We're getting safety equipment. You're so, not safe, that's why. So, so my question is... Safety vests are going to make me safer. Not, well... Seen. Seen, exactly. Right. Seen is the word. So I know you get IDs. No. Yes. Yes. Well, you guys have IDs because you've been here forever. I've inquired and no one really knows. Not really <laughs> forever. <laughs> I've inquired about an ID and no one really knows. Who you inquire with? The police chief and Kevin O'Grady won't And what did the police chief say? Call your Mrs. Leonard. So I called Miss Leonard and they said they don't do that. So they're back to hoping the resource officer maybe will make me one. But they said the machine's been broken for years and stop it. Yeah. So no one knows. They, everyone minute. just looks at each other like, oh. So they don't use <clears throat> an ID card at the school at all. I so we have a safety it. protocol that's lacking only because of the main piece of equipment. I'm told. That's ridiculous. I was promised one. I'd get to see. Right. One. That's a little crazy. So I may be a little. Sick. So Kevin, I'm less safe than you. <laughs> so Kevin you is. He referred me to the resource officer. The resource officer said that. No, wait a minute. Oh. When they get a new police officer, when they hire a new police officer, where do they get their badge from? I was told the resource officer does it, which would, I assume, the same one that makes the teacher badges. Yeah. And then I think when I called the town administrator, I think they said that they outsource it down there. They didn't even do it in-house anymore. I think it's been a while, but I want to say that was the answer I got. Yeah. Which didn't give me a badge either way. No, <laughs> no but you are, and, and you ought to have a badge regardless. Um, so, uh, somehow or another safety vest came up. Michelle wants to show us something on a page. Yes. Yes, so, <coughs> so you guys are more seen when you go to addresses and for safety reasons. If we get the vest and say assessor's office on the back of them, and if you leave them in your vehicles, and when you go out to people's houses, they know who you are. I think we should get a car, too. Belch John has a car. <laughs> Belch John has a budget. But that's, that's a good start, huh? <laughs> I think it's like $20 a piece, but I don't know if I can get the writing on them or go to Michael's and get the letters and put them on. <laughs> we could at least start off with tie-dye t-shirts. <laughs> I know a guy. So I guess <laughs> the question for the board is, is there, are we even interested in this or? What's the question? Are we interested in them? I'm wearing a vest already. Right. I'm not <laughs> opposed to it, but I've never needed it because this is small town gravy. Yeah. I don't, I'm not opposed to it, but I, I certainly felt, haven't felt I needed it. I have, I have ID. I don't. I, this is. A, I think this is Thanks Michelle so. looking into this, not me. Um, <laughs> and I've made, up, I've made up a sign that I put on the dashboard of my truck, just saying I'm an assessor. Wow. Um, I made that up myself and put it on the dashboard of my truck. It's not a bad idea, though. It, no, it's, it's not. It's still not. This isn't a bad idea. All right. Uh, so, um, where were we? she us from not getting shot? No. No. But I do, I do, I do think it needs to say something on the back if yep. we're to, to be meaningful. Yeah. You know, just wearing a vest doesn't mean much. No, There's I'm a not. place in Springfield that they have high vis stuff. I'll get you the name on, and they're fairly cheap, and they do print on the back and front. Okay. If you get printing, I want mine to say Dakota Richards on the back. I want Greg Leonard on the front. <laughs> you want yours? What? I want mine to say Dakota Richards on the back. <laughs> 
And I don't mind to see Greg Leonard on the front. <laughs> so when I'm running away, they'll at least know who's running away. <laughs> so when he's running away, I can tell him all the lies. That's right. They'll love Greg's name. That's right. Good idea. We'll investigate. Other business? No. Items for follow-up? No. So the regular meeting, Mr. Chair. So this, this this doesn't talk about lettering on it. No. No, but Dakota's gonna help out there because he's got nothing no. to do. <laughs> yeah. It's just a preliminary. They sit around figuring out how Ignoring to do more of like those <laughs> <laughs> I can't talk to you right now. I'm trying to get lettering on a vest. <laughs> Someone knocking? Say animal I actually think it's a pretty decent idea. It is. You know, I don't know why we talk about that. Uh, just a I still don't have the bag. Right. And I, I'm going to look into that. Uh, Get on that. It is relatively curious that quite often when Bill and Frank were going out that the police department would routinely get a call <laughs> saying who are these guys out there. Well, it's because, did you sell Girl Scout cookies too or just knock on the door? <laughs> <laughs> Say it one more time. I said, did you sell Girl Scout cookies too or just knock on the door? <laughs> just knock on the door. <laughs> um, so how are we going to decide this? What are we going to do here? Yeah, you're, we're going to bring it back next time. Yeah. Grab the assessor's office? Yeah. I don't want it. This is yours? Yeah. That's not a bad idea. That's not a bad but idea. But we do need to get lettering on here. I don't think there's any way I can get credit for that idea, so I'm not really interested. <laughs> That was our A number one yeah. assessor's clerk that thought yeah. about that because yeah. she wants us to be safe in the field. Because okay. without us, and she'd have to go out there. <laughs> and homeowners to feel safe knowing that there's somebody in their yard and they want to know why. Yeah. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Greg. I think this is it for the regular meeting before we go to an yes. yeah. executive session. Okay, so it's 745. 645. 645. 645. 645. Oh. Thank you. Turn your watch, man. And we'll go.